Hey everyone, Tara Melton here, and today I'm going to show you a new artifact that you can enable in Axiom 4.4 when processing a Windows Evidence item called NTFS Timestamp Mismatch. This artifact is looking for a couple of things that could be potential indicators of malicious activity like time stomping, which I will detail here, so let's take a look. I'm in the Artifacts Explorer in Axiom Examine. Under the Operating System Artifact category, I'm going to go ahead and click on that new artifact, and you'll see there's a few files listed here. So after some investigation, we may have a file that's believed to be malicious, and I bookmarked that here. And like I said, there's a couple of things that this artifact is looking for, and the reason for that hit is going to be stated over here in the Details pane. First, this artifact is checking to see if the millisecond values in the timestamp are exactly zero, which could sometimes be a potential indicator that time stomping activity may have incurred, occurred on an infected system. And second, this artifact will compare the timestamps within the MFT records of files in the file system from two sections, the dollar sign standard information section and the dollar sign file name section. The standard information timestamp is what Windows would display to the end user, as well as what most forensic tools will display as far as date and timestamps. When the standard information timestamp is earlier than the file name timestamp, this artifact will flag it as a mismatch. Now there are legitimate reasons that this could happen in a normal environment. Sometimes normal system behavior will cause this to happen, but this artifact can definitely help provide you with a starting point if you believe that time stomping activity occurred on your system. Under normal circumstances, if we identify this file and we're to timeline the activity of this device, but we're only pulling the date and timestamps from the standard information section of the MFT, it might not appear to fall into the scope of the time frame that we're looking at because those timestamps were maliciously manipulated. However, the file name timestamps in the MFT record are only modified by the Windows kernel and will generally go untouched by anti-forensic time stomping activity. So I'm going to build connections off of this file really quick. And when examining the associated artifacts, most of the activity surrounding this file is in September of 2019 from dollar sign log file, USN journal, there's an auto run item. And you can see when I focus in on the NTFS timestamp mismatch artifact, we can see how uh, valuable those file name values are. The standard information times fall way out of scope, but the file name times make way more sense and this potentially malicious file does in fact fall into the time frame that the malicious activity occurred. So this will help make identifying that malicious activity easier when timestamp manipulation has occurred, especially when comparing it to IDS alerts, network logs, or looking at it in timeline view, which I'm going to go ahead and do right now from that file name timestamp. And in timeline view, as I'm scrolling through, you can see how useful it is to be able to pull those file name timestamps uh, from the MFT. It does fall within the time frame that we are looking at. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Axiom Process, and I'm looking at the artifacts here under Computer. And I just want to point out that this artifact is turned off by default, so if it's something that you're interested in your case that you're working, be sure to remember to check the box next to it and turn it on so that it runs against your evidence. So hopefully you find this artifact useful, and for more details of specifics of this artifact at work, please feel free to take a look at the corresponding blog on the Magnet Forensics Resource Center. There are visuals of the MFT records and where these timestamps are being pulled from, and please let us know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for watching.